Continuity tells us a lot of things. In particular, it gives us intermediate values. This is the intermediate value theorem, and as you might guess, it tells us about values in between other ones. I think this picture says a lot. Given any continuous function, and it's very important that we have that continuity on an interval a to b, for any value l between the function evaluated at a and b, f of a and f of b, there exists some point in that interval that our function evaluated there equals l. That might seem a little bit confusing, but if you take a look at this picture, it's very illustrative. If you look at this function, it's continuous. There are no breaks or gaps in it. And we have our function on this interval a to b in the x direction. And you can see our function evaluated at a and b. That's f of a and f of b. So what we're saying is that any value between f of b and f of a in the y direction, our function should hit that. It makes a lot of sense because if our function's continuous, it has no breaks or gaps, it should cover all those values in between. Typically when you're asked questions on the intermediate value theorem, you're asked for roots or solutions. This is another word for saying set the function equal to zero. Here's a nice three-step procedure for solving these problems. First, you want to determine the domain of your problem. In other words, what's that interval a to b? Next, you want to plug in those endpoints of your function. Plug in a, plug in b to your function. And lastly, figure out if your function evaluated at those endpoints gives you some interesting values.